Good day, here are the top stories from the Philippines Agency. We start with the government's response measures to ensure public safety as Tropical Storm Christine batters most of the country. The storm is expected to dump heavy rains in other parts of the Luzon, with the Bicol region mirroring its brunt since early this week. During a situational briefing at Camp Aguinaldo this morning, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. urged government agencies to closely monitor dam levels and implement a measured response in releasing water to mitigate potential flooding as the storm approaches the Philippines. With heavy rainfall on the horizon, the President emphasized the importance of vigilance and preparedness, urging all relevant authorities to work together in managing this looming weather threat effect. He called on dam operators to manage water levels responsibly and release water prudently to avoid impacting downstream communities. Earlier today, San Roque and Magat dams advised the release of water ahead of heavy rainfall as the storm is expected to cross northern Luzon. Let's watch again, again those dams because we don't want the situation that happened in uh, Cagayan Valley were just released without telling anyone and there was no plan and just you we all remember what what happened there so it was an opinion but let's anticipate let's be proactive about it let's not wait for the levels to reach the maximum kung kaya mag-release na tayo ng kahit kaunti lang para hindi hindi biglaan na makapag-release para hindi mag-overflow so let's 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 think in those terms that uh, we'll plan ahead. Um, all those all the dams that will that we think will be affected, we'll think about already releasing some water, so that when the real water comes, it will be uh, not as bad. Furthermore, President Marcos stressed the need to maximize enhanced defense cooperation agreement sites in response to Tropical Storm Christine. Signed in 2014, the EDCA allows American troops to access to select Philippine military facilities for building infrastructure and prepositioning equipment, aircraft, and vessels. In terms of the uh, airlift capability, uh, we already have uh, alerted most of our aircraft. But yesterday, we also uh, coordinated with our U.S. counterparts, and they are ready to send in their aircraft. Uh, using our EDCA sites. Yes. And then if uh, other countries are coming in, we will also uh, establish our, our uh, multinational coordinating centers. With Singapore, I already talked to Ambassador oh, yeah, C. Told, yeah, yeah. So and said, then we so. are uh, reaching out to Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia as the closest neighbors, in addition to the uh, uh, partner nations. Well, the... Well, the this is where we make full use of the EDCA sites, uh, especially for the for the uh, activities ng, ano, ng AFP, or the airlift. Tropical Storm Christine has affected nearly 78,000 families in four regions as of Wednesday, according to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. In its latest bulletin, the NDRRMC said this is equivalent to around 382,000 persons from 436 barangays in Bicol, Western Visayas, Eastern Visayas, and Zamboanga Peninsula. Around 3,000 families or over 12,000 individuals have taken shelter in evacuation centers. Tandior MC is validating reports of one person injured due to the storm and three others missing. The storm has damaged a total of 57 houses in Bicol Region, Eastern Visayas, and Zamboanga Peninsula. Meanwhile, bad weather has hampered the operations of 34 seaports in Calabarzon, Mimaropa, Bicol Region, Western Visayas, and Central Visayas. Over 4,700 persons were reported stranded along with 703 rolling cargoes, 26 vessels, and 13 motor bankas. Local carriers have also suspended back and forth flights from Manila to Basco, Clark to Basco, Manila to Naga, Manila to Masbate, Manila to Kawayan, Manila to Tugirgarao, and Manila to Virac. 
Philippine Airlines has advised passengers to rebook their tickets within 60 days from the original schedule, while Cebu Pacific said passengers could rebook within 30 days. For its part, Philippine National Police Chief General Romel Marbil said all police officers were deployed in affected areas to help in disaster response efforts and humanitarian assistance. The National Capital Region Police Office also deployed over 800 personnel of the reactionary standby support forced to assist government disaster response units. The Office of the Civil Defense and its regional offices are on high alert as Tropical Storm Christine brings heavy rains across parts of Luzon and the Visayas. In a statement, the Office of the Civil Defense confirmed the regional agencies are fully equipped and prepared to respond and assist communities impacted by the storm. Seven regions, including Cordillera, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, Bicol, Eastern Visayas, Calabarzon, and Mimaropa are on red alert with Charlie Protocol, which signals the highest level of readiness. Interior Secretary John Pecrimulia assured that all local government units are on high alert and fully prepared to handle any storm-related crisis. Meanwhile, in Central Visayas, Regional Director Joel Irasain emphasized ongoing coordination with the Department of Public Works and Highways to address potential flooding concerns. While in Eastern Visayas, Defense Secretary Galbeto Teodoro Jr. has ordered the immediate release of funds for relief efforts. Meanwhile, the Department of Social Welfare and Development in Bicol also provides shelter and financial aid to affected families. In Bicol, DSWD quickly deployed teams to assist families displaced by the storm and distributed hot meals to stranded passengers at ports. In Eastern Visayas, the SWD's quick response teams are on standby to provide immediate assistance and relief. Back in Metro Manila, the city government of Marikina assures all of its assets are prepared for the possible effects of Tropical Storm Christine. The Facebook post the Barikina Public Information Office said evacuation centers are already set up in all barangays to accommodate affected residents. Its set rooms have been designated for vulnerable sectors such as senior citizens, pregnant, and persons with disabilities. Marikina City Rescue 161 is monitoring the situation as rescue assets such as boats are deployed in strategic areas in, to initiate rescue operations. As of 9.20 a.m., Marikina River is at a normal level of 30 meters despite the continuous rains. All gates at the Mangahan floodway are open. Meanwhile, the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority suspended today the expanded number coding scheme amid the heavy rains caused by Tropical Storm Christine. This came following Malacanang's announcement of suspension of government work and classes in all levels in Luzon. Offices involved in disaster response and other essential services would continue operations. Meanwhile, private offices are given the discretion to suspend their work for the day. And a look at the weather, Christine is likely to intensify into a severe tropical storm before making landfall as early as tonight. Pagasa said Christine is forecast to hit Isabella province tonight, after which it weakened slightly while crossing northern Luzon and then re-intensify over the West Philippine Sea. Tropical cyclone wind signal number 2 is now raised over Metro Manila and large portion of northern and central Luzon, Cordillera region, Cagayan Valley including Babuyan and Pulilio Islands, Calabarzon and Bico region. These areas can expect winds of greater than 62 km per hour that can cause minor to moderate impacts. Signal number 1 is in effect in Batanes, Batangas, Occidental Mindoro, including Lubang Islands, Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, Calamian Islands, the rest of Sur Sagon and Masbata, including Tikau and various islands in Luzon. Signal number 1 is also raised over most parts of Visayas, as well as the Nagat Islands in Surigao del Norte, including Shurigao, Bukas Grande Group, and Mindanao. Christine was last spotted 200 kilometers east of Casigon and Aurora, with a maximum sustained winds of 85 kilometers per hour near the center and gustiness of up to 105 kilometers per hour.
It is moving north northwestward at 30 kilometers per hour. Christine may exit the Philippine area of responsibility on Friday, October 25. And that's the latest and the biggest stories on the PNA headlines. For more news updates, visit our website, pna.gov.ph, or our Facebook and X account, Philippine News Agency. The PNA headlines is also streamed via the Sabisha Facebook page. You may also watch the PNA headlines through the Philippine News Agency's YouTube account and via the News and Information Bureau website under the PNA News. It's 63 days before Christmas. I am Stephanie Civiliano. This is the PNA Headlines, bringing stories to the United Nations.